to another episode of Masonic Curators. We're here today at the Cambridge Masonic Temple, and I am joined here with Right Worshipful David Vogel, who is the current District Deputy Grand Master of the 2nd Masonic District. Uh, Dave has lodges in his district that meet here in Cambridge, as well as a couple in Boston. Uh, Dave is a member and a past master of Immigrant Lodge, and he's going to talk today about the Henry Price Gallery. Now, as White Worshipful Walter Hundout Grant historian always mentions, when he goes to different lodge universities, that Henry Price is always mentioned in a lodge history, which is true. If you do read some of the older histories that are online on his site, MasonicGenealogy.com, Henry Price is always mentioned. Uh, 1733 is always mentioned. But I'll tell you one thing. There's not many lodges out there that has a piece that is directly associated with Henry Price. The mu uh, Museum and Library Committee has his chair that promotes from Scotland. And supposedly there are a couple of uh, gavels floating out there made by the Henry Price Pantry. But Dave today is going to talk about a special gavel. Dave? Yes. So, most worshipful Henry Price was the first Grand Master of the first Grand Lodge in North America in 1733. Much has been written about him, and few know about the historic pear tree or trees that were once owned and planted by Henry Price. According to numerous historical sites, including the Grand Lodge of Massachusetts Proceedings, Henry Price lived in Boston, Massachusetts. In 1746, he purchased a lot of land known as the Latonomy Fields. Earlier, he had purchased a small farm in Townsend, Massachusetts, but he took up part-time residence in Latonomy Fields with his family. Latonomy Fields today is Arlington Center. It became known as a number of different, by a number of different names over the years. Latonomy Fields, West Cambridge, Latonomy, the village of West Cambridge. But from 1630 to 1802, this section of what is now known as Arlington, Mass., was part of Cambridge, Mass. From 1746 to 1754, Henry Price purchased more land, built a barn, and enlarged the home in Matani Fields, which became known as this little mansion. During the time he and his family lived here during the warm weather months, and planted a garden with a number of pear trees. In 1755, he moved his family permanently to the little mansion in Matani Fields. In 1760, his wife died, and a year later, his only daughter died from a bend at home. His memories were, were too great to bear, and he sold the home a month later. He moved back to Boston and then moved to the farm he already had in town, Seven Mass where he died in 1780. But during his final days in Cambridge, Henry Price dug up the pear trees, transplanted them to, to his property in Townsend. And according to records, decades later, his grandson visited the old homestead in Townsend. Nothing remained, but the ancient pear tree was pointed out to him, which he stated that his grandfather planted in Cambridge and transplanted. It was mentioned that the Grand Lodge had purchased the tree and have relics made from the old pear tree. That was done around 1858 on or about. A gavel has made including a number of other record, records. This gavel was presented to Montcute Lodge, I hope I pronounced that right, of Worcester, Mass. Information on this was published in the Freemasons Repository of 1891. According to another publication, in June 1862 in Portland, Maine. A beautiful gavel has been given us with this inscription, and the accompanying gavel is made from pear tree wood. The tree was planted by Henry Price, the first Grand Master of North America. The tree in Townsend was cut down around 1860, and the gavel was presented to Brother Rob Morris, founder of the Order of Eastern Star. Cambridge Freemasonry holds on to this gavel dearly. Not only did it come from Henry Price, who planted the tree somewhere around the late 1740s, but it is also a Cambridge tree. Due to the time that Henry Price's property in 
during the time that Henry Price has property in what is now Arlington, Massachusetts, and was then part of Cambridge. The gavel was presented to Anne Pollock at Cambridge Port Mass in March of 1860 by Brother Otis Weatherby. It was used at a joint meeting of King Solomon's Lodge of Somerville and Richard C. McLaurin Lodge, MIT Lodge, uh, of Cambridge in June 2015. It was the first time a Masonic Lodge met and conducted degree work on the grounds of the Bunker Hill Monument. We have no idea how Brother Weatherby was able to procure a piece of the wood from Henry Price Pear Tree, but it is proudly displayed in a glass case outside of our current lodge room. Thank you very much, Phil. And with that, we thank you for tuning in. And again, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Thank you.